Hello everybody, Frankly FM84 here. Thank you for coming back and joining me on the FM Connection YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you another episode of Wonder Kid or Bust. We go looking for some unearthed gems in FM22, sim their careers and see what happens and how they develop inside of Football Manager 22. Today I have got a brilliant midfielder who we're going to take from his current club in Italy, pick him up, drop him into France put him at the heart of PSG's midfield and watch how he flourishes. Let's jump into the game and see how he gets on. Hello everybody, Frankly FM84 here, back on the FM Connection. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Wonder Kid or Bust. The basic idea is to try and unearth some hidden gems within the FM22 game, take them from their current teams, put them into a much higher potential team and sim the first five years of their career and try and work out whether this player is going to become a Wonder Kid or he's going to become a Bust. Before though we jump in and show you who today's player is and where we're moving to, please we have one small little favour to ask of you. Can you please hit the like, subscribe and notification bell for us? Every interaction that you have with the channel helps us to keep bringing this quality content. It also means that we get to put this out to so many more people. Every interaction really does help with getting these videos out. But if you've done all that already, we are going to be jumping into the game and we're going to show you exactly who today's player is. And that player is Ebrima Darbo. You can see he starts the game off as a 20-year-old. He is a Gambian international with three caps. He starts the game at AS Roma. And as I said, we are going to be taking him away from AS Roma shortly and putting him into Paris Saint-Germain's midfield. Let's have a little breakdown. You can see we do need to scout the player to get the full pros and cons, but they will come later on as he moves into the PSG first team. But what we do have here, let's work with that. You can see his value at the start of the game is 375,000 to 6.2 million pounds. He starts as loan listed, he has no transfer status set. When you look at his attributes, in terms of his technicals, you can see he has good dribbling, first touch, marking, passing, tackling and technique. Everything that you really need for a high quality midfield player. In terms of mentors, he has good anticipation, composure, decisions, positioning, teamwork and vision. Also that work rate of 14 will help him. And in the physical department, he has good balance at 14, agility, natural fitness, pace and stamina. He stands at 5 foot 9. He has strength of 10, which probably will need a little bit of working to become a midfield maestro. He has a reasonable left foot, very strong right foot. And then in terms of the positions that he can play, he is going to be set up as a central midfielder in Paris Saint-Germain's team. Let me tell you that. But going through a few of the roles that he can play. So he has two star deep line playmaker, two star ball winning midfielder, two star defensive midfielder, a two star halfback. One and a half Segundo Volante, a one and a half star Roman Playmaker, one and a half star Anchor and one and a half star Register. So he can play a variety of roles all in that central midfield position in terms of being, in fact that's defensive midfield position, sorry. In terms of being a central midfielder, he has two star deep line Playmaker, two star Carrilero, a two star ball winning midfielder, two star box to box midfielder, two star central midfielder. Two star advanced playmaker, one and a half star Masala, one and a half star roaming playmaker on support. You can see there then that he has all the raw talent to become an absolute star in this game. And I think that for the price that you can get him for at the start of the game, he's going to be an absolute wonderful footballer. He has a, quite a backstory also in real life. If you want to go and Google that, I suggest you do that because this kid has literally come from the rags to riches category of those kinds of stories. A quick show then of the tactic that we'll be using for PSG. It's the 4-3-3 that we used in the previous episode and Darbo is going to be going into this position here in the central midfield as we look to turn him into a world beater at Paris Saint-Germain. So you must be intrigued to find out what is about to happen. Let's jump five years into the future and show you how 
of Rima Darbo turns out. We have jumped forwards then to the 15th of June 2026 and you can already see the improvement in Ebrima Darbo. He has now become a 25-year-old. He has played 47 times for Gambia, scoring three goals. He is an important player for Paris Saint-Germain. His transfer value has gone up to 30 to £37 million. And you can see that his abilities are two and a half star current potential against the players that are at Paris Saint-Germain at this current time. And he has a potential rating of two and a half stars also. Uh, looking at him, we now have those pros and cons. So let's go through a few of those. In terms of the pros, he has current ability of being a leading player for most Liga 1 sides. He has strength and stamina, which make him a very good athlete. He has balance and it ensures that he's in ideal position to perform saves. Not too sure he needs saves as a midfielder, but hey ho. Uh, versatility is a natural in a couple of positions. He has plenty of international experience now. He's currently playing close to his full potential. He shows a fairly ambitious nature. The player has put in really good performances recently and he's considered to be a physical player. As you can see, that strength did build a little bit. Uh, in terms of the cons, uh, he feels the individual training he's been inside is not beneficial. Can be wayward when crossing the ball and finds it hard to adapt into the core group of the squad. So he's pretty much a bit of a loner when it comes to the dressing room and he doesn't like the current training. So that might be a little tweak that you have to do when you buy him and set the training regime up that you want him to be following. We have been playing him as a midfielder centre. So we will show you those positions first. He's now a two and a half star Deep line playmaker, two and a half star Carrillero, two and a half star ball winning midfielder, two and a half central midfielder, two and a half Mazala, two and a half advanced playmaker, two and a half box to box midfielder, and a two and a half roaming playmaker. Looking at his attributes in terms of the technicals, dribbling, first touch, marking, passing, tackling, technique are all really good and have developed well. His mentors have developed aggression, anticipation, bravery. Composure of 16, concentration decisions, positioning, teamwork, vision and work rate are all high scoring stats too. In terms of the physicals, he has good acceleration, his agility is 16, his balance is 17, natural fitness of 15, pace of 15, stamina of 17, strength of 13. He has really come on leaps and bounds. Uh, looking at his right hand side part, you've got personality of fairly ambitious. A media description of defensive midfielder. He has a media friendly handling style of the media. And I think he has developed into a world class player. Let's show you how he has got on across the first five years then. Looking at his career stats, he come to PSG for £5.5 million. So a bit of a snip. And you can see that his average ratings have not dropped below seven at all. In the first season, he played 33 games. Oh, just before we go into this, I have to admit we have locked the player into the position. I know it's unrealistic in real life for a young player to go straight into the PSG team, but it's the only way that we could try and extract what we needed from him for the episode. So he has played all of these games for PSG's first team. So the first season, 33 games, 9 goals, 4 assists, 7.12 average rating. The next season, 22-23. 35 games, 12 goals, 8 assists, 2 player in the matches, a 7.12 average rating. 23-24, 33 games, 4 goals, 9 assists, 1 player in the match, 7.08 rating. 24-25, 32 games, 5 goals, 13 assists, 1 player in the match, a 7.07 .07 average rating. And then 25-26, 32 appearances, 6 goals, 10 assists. No player in the matches, but a 7.1 average rating. You can see he really is building as he goes along those seven average ratings across the season, which means that his league earned stats are 170 appearances, 36 goals, 44 assists, four player in the matches, and an average rating of 7.11, which really is fantastic when you think about the fact he's a 5.5 million pound midfielder who come from Roma. And he has just been thrown straight into the PSG team. When we look at the milestones, you can 
have a little look down here. So went straight to PSG, started winning trophies. He scored his first goal against Lille. Then he was named in the PSG seasonal best 11. He was the Liga Un Uber Eats champion with PSG in his first season in 2022. He then won the Liga Un Uber Eats player's most promising player. He then went on to continue winning. He scored his first international goal against Eritrea at the age of 21. Cup de France winners. Another league title with PSG. He then went on to win the Liga Un Uber Eats player's most promising player of the year again. He won the Champions League. He then was named in the seasonal best 11. He was third placed in African midfielder of the year in 2023. So let's show you who came ahead of him. Uh, so Afsha for Al Ali in Egypt, Frank Kessi, and then Ebrima Darbo finishing third. If we go back, more success in terms of the yellows, more league titles, trophy to champions. That he then placed in that third place again in 2025. In fact, I think I've missed a season. Have missed a season. So 2024, he finished second in the African midfielder of the year, finishing ahead of Kessi this time, but behind Afsha. And then Kessi won it in 2025 with Darbo finishing third. So that is pretty much every year from 2023 to 2025, he's finishing in the top three of the African midfielders in the world. Here's everything that he has achieved in terms of awards. So team of the weeks, most promising player, African footballer. He was shortlist, shortlisted for African Footballer of the Year in 2022. He was shortlisted in 2023. Also then was third place. All team of the weeks. He's been in PSG for seasonal best 11. You can see that he's really developing into a brilliant footballer at PSG. The last thing to show you is his progress. You can see here that in terms of his abilities, pretty consistent all the way throughout. It says potential is two and a half stars, but that is, of course, just against his teammates at PSG. And when we look at the attributes, if we go to all time, you can see down the bottom here, it says slight overall improvement in technical ability, major overall improvement in mental abilities. You can't see, but underneath me it says major overall improvement in physical abilities. And you can see that the graphs are trending upwards in terms of his curve for his career. He then is a fantastic player. And I think this is another one that he's going to go down in the Wonder Kid category. Uh, maybe at the age of 20, he's a little bit older in terms of the Wonder Kids and where we're looking at an age range. At the right training and the right people around him, I think that he could go even further, like you've only seen here. The first five seasons, he develops wonderfully up until this point. I think you could take him even further at 5.5 million. It's an absolute steal. Develop him, take him further, and show us what you can make him become in Football Manager 2022. That then pretty much brings us to the end of another episode of Wonder Kid or Bus. But before I go, another quick shout out to everybody to please hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Do not ever miss another video from the FM Connection. I guarantee we are going to be having some top class quality content coming out on the channel and you do not want to miss it. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it up here. Big thank you for watching.